Hello and thanks for checking in to Spider Tracks TV. I want to spend a couple minutes today talking about something that's pretty important and it's about unit bearing performance and what makes our unit bearings work so well in the market in comparison to other unit bearings that you might come across. We get this question a lot and thought it might be worthwhile to shoot a little video, candid video here, let you know what makes ours so unique and some of the elements that make them so special. So what we're going to do today is actually measure three unit bearings and we're going to measure the end play, the bearing play in each of these unit bearings and show you the difference between the three. And the unit bearings that we have on the table today are an OEM Timken bearing that's brand new right from Timken. That's this, again, this is the F451 ton unit bearing. In the back here we have a Spider Tracks modified Timken one ton unit bearing and it's used. So this has got uh, 1,000 miles racing on it. We'll talk about that when we mount it up. And then last we have a brand new import unit bearing that we picked up at a local auto parts store. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mount them up on this little jig that we have here. We have a dial indicator set up. Uh, Eddie's going to help me with the install work here. And, and we're going to just check this bearing play by hand and I'll show you how this happens here once we bolt this up. got our unit bearing bolted up and this measurement's going to be done by hand. So here's the logic behind measuring a unit bearing. Uh, this is right from Timken or any OEM manual that you're going to find that uses a, a, a unit bearing of this style, a Timken style unit bearing, F450 unit bearing. The bearing is considered unusable when it has any kind of bearing play. And they'll typically have you check that by just bolting a wheel up and shaking it around and if the wheel can move around then it has bearing play. We're going to consider our results a lot more accurate by actually bolting up the unit bearing, hooking up a dial indicator, and by hand, checking for any movement whatsoever. We'll consider one thou of movement, enough bearing play to have a bearing be defective. So we'll measure one spot, index 90 degrees. We'll measure in that second spot, zeroing out our indicator here. And by hand, again, we're gonna move this, or not move it for this matter, but try to and again demonstrate that a brand new Timken unit bearing has zero thou bearing play, which is what it's supposed to have. Well, moving right along. We're going to unbolt this guy and bolt on our next candidate. Okay, thanks, Eddie. Here's our next candidate. This is a Spider Tracks one ton unit bearing. This started from a Simpkin bearing and it's been modified with some provisions that we include a bigger bearing, a larger sub shaft accommodation, and a welded back uh, so the spanner nut can't be loosened. Now, this unit bearing isn't just any used unit bearing. This unit bearing came off the winning Ultra 4 class car of Kevin Sicalis. This unit bearing was subjected to 1,000 miles of desert racing some of the most severe punishment we've ever seen dished out on our unit bearings and this unit bearing we're going to check for bearing play. Again moving by hand absolutely zero thou of bearing play we're going to index that 90 degrees tighten that up zero it out and by hand we're going to try to move this bearing Again, zero thou of bearing play. That's a used, a used Spider Tracks one ton unit bearing, 1,000 miles of desert racing from Kevin Sicalis, and it still has zero thou bearing play. It's as tight as the day that we sold it to Kevin. We're going to unbolt that and bring up our next candidate here, and this is the brand new F450 one ton unit bearing. That's import, it's not Timken. We got this at the local auto parts store. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and zero that out. Okay. See that dial move there? 
How many thou bearing play do we have on that, Eddie? About two thou there. About two thou on that side. Let's index at 90 degrees. Check it again. See that dial moving? About three and a half. About three and a half thou on that side. All right, again, this is a brand new import unit bearing that we picked up at the local auto parts store, and it has a total of three and a half thou of bearing play. We would consider that completely unusable, and this is brand new. Bearing play is a big deal when we're talking about unit bearings. The bearing play, if you start off with bearing play like that, this unit bearing will not last you any time at all. And that's the big, big difference between an import unit bearing and a domestic grade Simpson unit bearing that we use. Well, I hope that helps you a little bit in deciding which unit bearings to go for. Uh, thanks again for checking in.